Hello everybody! Today I wanted to share very easy and simple solutions to reduce your waste in your bathrooms. Whether it is you want to reduce the amount of single use or the amount of plastic in your bathrooms, I've got tips for you, so let's jump right in. First of all, I wanted to say if you have uh, soaps and toothpaste and shower gels in your cupboard, definitely use these up before buying any other sustainable products because you already bought them, you spend that money. We took the resources out of um, the planet to produce and create them, so definitely use these up. If you don't want to use them up, you can um, also donate them to shelters or to family and friends. My first tip and the easiest, uh, which is the first one I made, would be to change your plastic wrapped shower gels to a more sustainable option, which is soap bars. Um, you can find many on the internet and locally made. Uh, luckily, we have a huge range available from independent makers, uh, for sensitive skin and or if you prefer something more colorful with perfumes. Lush have some options but I'm not too keen on their ingredients. I have really sensitive skin and they never worked for me but if Lush is what is available for you and you like their products definitely use these. I will recommend my favorite ones in the down bar. Feel free to comment what is your favorite soap maker in the comments. On the same topic, we have a shampoo bar. This is the one I'm currently using. It's from uh, Comme Avant. Shampoo bars are really effective. You buy one bar and last so long. I shampoo once a week now, thanks to this. Uh, and also my brush, which I will talk about a bit later. But um, at first I tried the Lush One Honey I washed my hair. And this was not vegan, but it's lovely. Um, it has quite a few ingredients. This one has only four, which is just perfect. All natural ingredients. Once you find your perfect one, the one that suits you, it's just the dream. It can be a bit tricky and take some time, but definitely keep going. I've tried a few before finding this is the first one I've tried, so definitely hang in there. Uh, but it's so worth it when you find the one for you. Staying on the topic of soaps, um, I would definitely recommend some soap dryers. Like this is a wooden one and this is just metallic and uh, you can see that the water just uh, goes in there. The soaps really really keep longer if they dry completely between two showers. I would highly recommend one of these a little dryer slash plates. <laughs> Instead of throwing your toothbrush away each three to four months, you can swap for a wooden one. This is uh, tree wood because bamboo is very glue heavy. Uh, so I've invested in a wooden one and the little brushes, which are plastic, can pull up. You can just throw away the plastic part. Then you have new ones to replace the old ones. Um, so yeah, this is a French made a, a local French one. I would highly recommend the wooden ones. Uh, you can find more and more nowadays uh, on the internet. I will link some below. And to go with my wooden toothbrush, I've got my toothpaste bar, which is a little thing in this. Uh, it's just a soap, really, a different kind of soap. And I cut it because I thought it would be more hygienic to cut it in little parts, but I saw it in this little... I store it in a little container. I would be careful though with homemade toothpaste because um, bicarbonate of soda can be quite um, harsh on your teeth. Though so I know that some may have troubles with that, so be careful with homemade recipes. Now you may think, Emma, why are you showing up? Um, a brush, hair brush in there. It's because I've learned that natural toothbrush, so wooden ones, are one uh, with um, animals' hair. It's better to spread the oils of your hair. So basically, you brush twice a day in the morning and in the evening, and so the oil that protects your scalps just goes um, onto your hair and protects all your hair and. Um, it spreads the oils and so you'll have less greasy hair, if that makes sense. And I really noticed a difference. 
uh, since I had this one. It may seem like, wow, sustainable people, they love wood and stuff, but it really makes a difference. If you need to change a brush or if you want to spread your the time between shampoos, definitely recommend a natural hairbrush and a wooden one if you can. Now on to deodorant. If you don't want to use spray deodorant or plastic wrapped deodorant, you can use... Uh, I've found two solutions. Now I'm using um, the powder deodorant from Comavo, which is basically, it's plastic, but you can refill it. Ooh. Ah! I've put powder out of my mouth. Uh, you can open the roll-on and I've got some uh, rechargeable powder that I put in it. I recently um, launched this uh, creamy one. It's made from cocoa butter and so it's easier, it's, uh, easier on your skin and it smells lovely. This is made from compostable material uh, like cardboard but you can have um, refills to put back in when you're finished your first cream. So these are my two swaps and alternatives to plastic and wear chemicals deodorant. Now on to creams and moisturizer. I use a, a shea butter which is just big virgin shea butter um, in a little glass container. I also found a solid cream based on shea butter but which has also lots of other good things and it only has for ingredients, but it's lovely on your skin. I will link it in the down bar below. Now, on to makeup. If you use makeup and you need a new makeup, you can choose refillable ones from sustainable companies. This one is plastic, but uh, since it's refillable, then you need less plastic. If you need new brushes, you can choose wooden brushes. Uh, this is bamboo, which I don't really recommend. Uh, but it's still better than plastic and you can find some uh, wooden, like tree wooden uh, ones, I believe. But yeah, it's always better than plastic. Now, how do you remove this makeup? You can either buy brand new organic cotton reusable um, cotton pads or you can also create your own one. I made this using baby towels I've bought second hand from local families. So it's a really cheap and sustainable option. You have two options here. If you prefer to use bigger towels, you can also simply cut uh, towels off. Uh, this is a brand new organic one, but this again is <laughs> from <laughs> baby towels. So yeah, these are bigger options if you need to. And what you do is basically use them to uh, remove your makeup and then Wash them in your normal wash. To make it even more hygienic is to iron them after uh, drying them because the iron is basically so hot it will kill any bacteria. How do you remove this? Well, you can use your kitchen oils like olive oil. You can also use argan oil, hazelnut, hazelnut, hazelnut oil. Almond and sesame oil. So you have lots of choice, but oil is so great. Basically, just put it on your skin and wash your wash off and then take your cotton and remove it. It's so efficient, so efficient. And in order to remove this slightly greasy um, film, it leaves on your skin. You can use floral water. Uh, this one is in plastic because I've bought it years ago and uh, it was the only option at the time, but you can find some in glass and some in metal uh, tin. Basically what floral water does is it's like a toner, so you use it the same way. And you can use blueberry, tea tree and chamomile oil, depending on the sensitivity of your skin. Now to more extra topics. If you don't want to use single-use tissues, you can do just like her grandparents did using paper tissues. These are my favorite ones. Uh, they are brand new and organic, uh, bought from a local maker, but you can definitely make some with leftover fabric, like old shirts or old uh, light uh, trousers. Uh, we definitely do have some homemade ones. And for those of you who have their periods, uh, you can find many options out there. These are 
uh, reusable period pants. You also have reusable pads and menstrual caps. I have a full video of this up there, or there. So you can check this out. I personally love reusable pads uh, and I use reusable pants uh, at night and you can sleep so well in this. It's just a game changer. And I don't shave, but if you do shave, you can use uh, safety razors or you can use sugaring. Uh, I will leave some blog posts down there if you're interested in these methods. Now, if you're wondering, Emma, that's lovely, but that's a lot of stuff. I don't have that much money to spend on this. First of all, when it comes to products, um, you use so much less of products than your conventional products because soap bars are so efficient you would buy a block and it would last you literally like a full year so that's one thing it may be a little bit more expensive at first but it lasts so much longer that you're uh, winning at the end and when it comes to safety razors or period pens they may be more costly for sure at the beginning but same thing here you're not buying uh, each month new products so you're in the long run you're still saving some money. Do what is um, uh, really accessible and easier for you right now but in the long run and um, it's really cheaper than buying single-use products and throw them in your bloody bin. <laughs> I also find that these uh, solutions are more practical when traveling uh, obviously soap bars can be a bit more like, oh, I need to dry them, but they take less room in your bags, so that's lovely. And it's obviously easier, apart from safety razors, it's easier to travel with than uh, liquids. Also often easier because um, local makers would often try to make it more ethically and source their ingredients with care, and so they have Often fewer ingredients and better quality ones. Uh, do always check your ingredients. That's something I want to do a video on because uh, because it's written in Latin. We don't just comprehend the ingredients, but I think that cosmetic ingredients are as important as food ingredients. And it's uh, with a few little tricks you can easily. Um, see which ingredients are not great and which products are not really great for your skin and health. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Please do leave any questions in the comment. I will be very happy to answer them. Um, if you're new around here, please subscribe, hit that bell and follow me on YouTube and Instagram for more fun. I wish you a great day and I will see you soon. Bye!